Time for Round Town. Hey, Anna. Larry and Robin, let's finish this beautiful Thursday morning at the Morton Arboretum with their new exhibition, Human Nature. I'm here with the Vice President of Education, Preston Bautista. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I love this one because we showed it to you earlier, Larry and Robin. You just saw the profile. Let's take a walk and reveal what we can see. Tell me a little bit about this sculpture. Sure. So this sculpture is called Heartwood, mm -hmm. and the artist, Daniel Popper, was inspired by the rings that you find inside the tree. In fact, right. you see that inside the sculpture Look. itself. That's how you can tell the age of the tree, that's right? That's right. So that's one of the ways you can tell the age. But you can also see that uh, on the surface of the sculpture mm -hmm. itself in the way that he painted it. And I think this is one of the clearest references to trees that the artist has made. So there are five of these sculptures. Mm -hmm and they're scattered throughout the Arboretum, so it gives the visitors, our visitors an opportunity to really explore maybe parts of the Arboretum that they've never seen before. I for sure have done that. This is the most I've seen of the Arboretum in all my visits, and, and it, is, it is completely in bloom and beautiful. Wow, this is the largest exhibition that Popper has had in That's his right. career. That's right, so this actually gathers five uh, of this monumental sculptures in one venue. About 20 feet tall? This is, a, this is actually, believe it or not, the shortest of all really? of them. Really? At over 15 feet tall. The highest one is uh, over 26 feet tall. A South African uh, world-renowned uh, sculpture that now is at the Morton Arboretum. You guys are open like usual, but time That's tickets, right. right? Time tickets, absolutely. Go to our website, mortonarb.org. Have a wonderful Thursday morning, everybody. See you tomorrow.